Guys, I, I, I think I did something wrong. I, uh, I broke up with God of War. I, I don't know what to do with my life. I have been with God of War for 18 years, and now it's this whole part of me that's not here. And I want to call it back. I, I want to get back together with God of War. Obviously, that's not the case. If, you, <laughs> if you're watching this tomorrow, I'm guessing you would know that yesterday I uploaded a video about God of War. So, hey, you can check it out somewhere up here if you want to. It's a list of 10 characters that were cut from, from the series. It's pretty fun. But with that said, I did announce that I was going to move forward in the channel. I was going to tackle other games. Uh, and that's where you guys come in. I was hoping that by making this video, you guys would uh, help me choose between two games I've been thinking about. Out of all of the gaming IP that I've seen, out of all of the universes that somewhat seem interesting, I've been able to narrow it down to two. And that would be Dragon's Dogma and the Warhammer universe. Alright, so let's start first with the Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma is a game that I didn't even know about until six days ago when Sony uploaded their state of play. Let's be clear, that was a state of play, that wasn't a showcase, Sony knows it, they don't, they, they can't keep lying to themselves, it was a state of play. But anyway, one of those games announced was Dragon's Dogma 2, and it was one of the better looking games. Of course I was thinking about uh, Phantom Blade Zero, which looked really cool and flashy, but after looking at the Dragon's Dogma 2 trailer, it's, it's another one of those uh, games that seem really, really good. And it was also made by Capcom, and recently Capcom just seems to be on fire. Everything they release seems to be on point. Now, I should say that I know nothing about Dragon's Dogma. I know that a sequel is coming, and I know there was a, a game that was released maybe in 2013. It was, apparently, I went on the, I checked out the trailer for that game, and it, it was one of those underrated masterpieces that no one played. And I think they're right, because I only heard about it after Dragon's Dogma 2. You can fight griffins, you can fight medusas, like, there's a lot of, like, mythological characters that honestly just i'm naturally drawn to there's a moment in that trailer where uh a mage makes a water bridge to reach a cyclops that sounds insane that that sounds like the type of thing i like to do on the side of gameplay dragon's dogma has me really interesting it's, it really does seem like one of those underrated games that everybody should play and i want to give it a try now the other game or the other universe is the warhammer universe this is a new universe that i've been dipping my toes for a couple of I want to say like, uh, uh, it's been a year since I've been like slowly dipping my toes into this universe. Now you're asking yourself, what are you talking about the universe? What do you like about the uh, the Warhammer universe? The Warhammer universe is dark as f there's this emperor guy that has been living since the creation of the earth. He created this group of soldiers made from his blood, I think, called the Space Marines. And they're incredibly badasses that are unkillable machines, even when some of them kind of die or completely die they put him in these coffins and then they put him into like a, a mech that just goes and destroys things and the lore of warhammer is super rich and i only know little pieces here and there right but on the side of gameplay i'm not saying that it's bad i'm just saying that it's more like a, a regular third person shooter with some melee combat i played some of the first one which it's pretty good, but gameplay wise is not as interesting as Dragon's Dogma, in my opinion at least. That's why I kind of wanted to make this video, I wanted to ask you guys which one of those two games or which one of those two universes do you guys think you would like to see more videos of me. Now I should say that don't expect lore videos or Dragon's Dogma theories or Warhammer theories right away. I don't know what the content is going to look like for these, uh, for the channel in the foreseeable future, so I'll keep you guys updated. I'm not saying that I'm going to become a Dragon's Dogma <laughs> channel or a Warhammer channel, but it is two universes that to me seem very interesting. So I want to try either one of those two. Let me know which, which universe do you like more? Is it, is it Dragon's Dogma? I hit the mic. Is it Dragon's Dogma or is it Warhammer? I could honestly go for either two. Both of them seem really good and both of them have sequels. Uh, coming in the near future, so it's uh, it's good. I want to start feeling hyped up about games again. If I stick with God of War, it's not going to be for another five years before I see one. I am still going to be uploading God of War videos. Don't worry about that, okay? As I said before, yesterday I uploaded a top 10. So uh, if, you, if you're still looking for God of War content, this is still the channel for you. There's other channels, but this is still the channel for you. It's just that I want to introduce other games. And at the moment, I'm thinking of those two. Dragon's Dogma or Warhammer. So... Yeah, if you guys want to help me out deciding, let me know which game you like the most. I'll be awaiting uh, your response. And with that said, thanks for watching. And remember...
go forth in the name of Captain Titus? What's 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 the Space Marine's name? The the protagonist? Captain Titus? I'm gonna have to do a lot of research if it ends up being Warhammer. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.